Hi there guys, uh, this is a new song from Jamiroquai, one of my favourite bands of all time and I think this song, Automation, is the biggest pop track since Thriller, Michael Jackson. I happen to rate Jamiroquai um, a lot more than even Michael Jackson and some of the, the big stars the past 30 years. Um, it's really really one of my all-time favorite uh, bands um, because he tackles issues that maybe other bands do they touch on but um, well this is the start of the video I'll leave the link below but what we'll do is just we'll go through the lyrics <clears throat> to this song and a lot of people might think he's glorifying some type of transhumanism but after watching the video a couple of times I really think that he's um, He's reaching out a, a, a lot deeper way, in a more so, soulful way, um, to humanity, um, to basically just look at itself and think. I mean, is is this honestly going to be the future? I mean, come on. So uh, let's just read the lyrics here. Am I love? Every heart is beating. I'm all love. Can you feel me feeling? Take my hand, come like a junkie. I'm an ice cold man. I'm an ice cold man. Why am I crying for you? All this love I felt for you. He's gone away to another place. It's a digital world. I put my faith in a digital world which has given me eyes without a face. Now I really think that this is um, talking about the Lord Jesus. Um, those of us who know born again that Jesus Christ is love he is true love um, he is the true um, the, uh, we, are, we are his true bride who are called out and he is the groom okay but you know this song's talking about a seduction of humanity into transhumanism I steal the moon on silver nights remind myself I am someone my soul is null and void tonight. Remember that Yeshua said to the Pharisees, you make God's commandments null and void due to your traditions. I mean, it's very deep. The lyrics here is just really deep. I mean, Michael Jackson's thriller dealt with people's um, emotions towards uh, probably demons, death, life after death, that type of thing. You know, werewolves were in there. You know, all kind of stuff. But I really think this is the last... Um, attempt by Satan to beguile humanity as he did to Eve and it's a type of um, what would you say a beguilement and uh, it's a type of seduction I'm so tough can't you see me running see I can touch can you feel me coming I see the world in claws of freedom uh, these metal eyes can't disguise the fact that I need something to believe in but they're crying for you now after this uh, I'm going to read out a poem that's within the novel Starstruck I wrote which again talks about transhumanism you know this was the Holy Spirit basically telling me this is the last seduction of Satan to humanity um, and you know transhuman is the mark of the beast it, it just is if you don't think so, then, well, well, would you take the mark? I hope not. I said goodbye to the world I knew and took off into inner space. It's a digital world. Aren't you the ones who promised me a very different place? I power up, get my programs yet, and tip my hat towards the sun. Inside, I know I'm null and void. I'm automation. I think it's just such a really deeply sad the the lyrics and to this. I mean, it really is is really touching to me. I, I don't know, man. I know a lot of women like romance and you know, it's all that type of thing that they get emotional about this. But this is about sort of um, humanity's true bride, you know, true love, Jesus Christ, and it's like. Um, it's almost like humanity are like they're they're just like. Uh, Having having this sort of a affair, if you like, with uh, this te technocratic age, you know that um, 
it's, it's just it's just amazing hey you got me down underground getting holed up in my cyber lounge as if I had time to break that down automation whatever you can do I can override I got a million ways to synthesize it digital Android I can fight it fight it out automation it's a digital world feel like a man who fell to us that this is not where I belong I think it's to earth I think some of these uh, words aren't right from the song but if you listen to the song you'll tell which words are correct or not they rule my life from a metal box that's windowless so this is like remote viewing or like uh, automation is just another word for um, a remote type of control or a protocol and I wonder where it all comes from me in this dream with still life but can the madness be undone I'm the new intelligence can the madness be undone eh? I think this is Jumeirah Cry, Cry really telling you what, what he thinks about this technocratic age I think it's really deep I'm automation, I'm automation and so it goes on you know I, I uh, need saving yeah you know I need saving that's deep that's deep man I can't hold on to hold on to you are all I need I'm automation I need saving I can't I can't hold on to hold on to this is all on you I'm automation hallelujah I think this is the biggest pop song since thriller Michael Jackson I have no doubt about that Now, uh, Daft Punk were the band that inspired Jamiroquai's new single, Automation. It says, after teasing their new album, Automation, last week with the trailer, that tipped its helmet to Daft Punk's Tron soundtrack. Now, Tron is the name of one of the villains in my novel, Starstruck. And um, he's a transhuman or a cyborg. Um, and in this part of the novel, he's actually uh, captured by the the, the human um, the humans. Uh, he himself one uh, used to be a human back on Earth, but he's he's one of the the bad guys, in, in the Federation, and he wants to be. Um, he's tipped to be one of the seven heads of Starfleet. It's just like in the Book of Revelation, one of the seven heads of the dragon, and so. Yes, this is talking about the final technocratic empire, um, which is a transhumanist empire. So this is, um, I think that the Lord has used a lot of artists, a lot of people to actually convey the last age, which uh, is akin to the time of the days of Noah. It's the same worldwide empire, technocratic empire that ruled during Noah's day. Um, and this is the empire that the worldwide Babylon the Great which is uh, beginning to rule here on the earth through technology and I definitely recommend those on my channel to watch this video which I'll give you the link to researcher Milton William Cooper served as a member of the Office of Naval Security and Intelligence while on duty as a harbor and river patrol boat captain at Da Nang and the Dong Ha River Security Group in Vietnam William Cooper was awarded several medals for his combat leadership and heroism. A lot of these uh, grey aliens, as it says in this video, alien takeover of planet Earth complete. Um, just talks about the final empire being, uh, there's an uprising, as well as it talks about in the book of Revelation, for those who have been given any revelation, any eyes to see, um, can really see what's happening. Um, these little guys, a lot of them are not, uh, although they're organic, partly organic, they're mostly machine. And um, they actually have masters as well. And it's these masters, their masters, want to make the human race um, just like these little guys. In other words, it says in the book of Revelation, when a man takes the mark that he loses his soul, his name's taken out of the Lamb's book of life. And that's what the the draconians or the the draconian empire wants to do 
through the serpent, you know, through the the greys, if you like, in different Nephilim races, um, which uh, do exist. Um, whether they have their origin here on Earth, I think most of them do, actually. But we know that the fallen angels came from heaven itself, and so they weren't created here on Earth. Um, we're talking about the final age in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, you know, Satan and the, the devil and his angels falling down to the earth. Woe to you. And I'm just going to start reading from the novel Starstruck, um, page 229. Now we see the glorifying of the cyborg in a lot of movies. Uh, Terminator, Star Wars, you know, Darth Vader. But uh, the Holy Spirit inspired me to write about it. You know, and certainly when I heard that new Jamiroquai song and the lyrics to it, they sound very similar to the poem which the, the character Tron um, speaks about. He's captured and Kiani, one of the Starfleet officers, is, is looking after him. Tron tried to catch Kiani's attention by standing up and Kiani noticed him. He spoke again in a rather sorrowful state this time and she couldn't help but turn to him when he beckoned her. Look at me, Kiani. I beg you, just look at me. I didn't want this to happen, you know. I only wanted a better way of life for people. Look what they did to me. You know, the truth is that he did it to himself. He opened his face mask as far as it would go, and Kiani observed his state, turning away slightly. Feelings that he was still human made her stomach turn, but she didn't show any signs of emotion. He walked towards the shield. You are a pretty good droid. You should be proud of yourself, um, she said, remembering what Matthew told her. No, look at me, Kiani. I have been in this body for over two long centuries and I feel as if I can't escape from it. You don't even know why I'm like this. I'm sure you've made a judgment about me already. Don't you know I have a soul too? I know that you're part human, but I can't see any truth in you when I look inside that shell of yours. He looked at her for a while. Something she said made him stop and realize that he hadn't talked about himself since he couldn't even remember when. A relationship had opened up between them and a few old memories came flooding back into his mind like a dam bursting. Do you think I planned to look like this all my life? I had kids, a job and a wife back on earth once upon a time. The memories hardly exist now, but seeing such a beautiful woman as you brought some of them back to me. Kiani looked at him and she couldn't hear, she could hear a new kind of emotion coming into his words. A face that was very cold now looked to be more human than ever. She could almost see the person he once was shining through and could even sense his pain. What was your name back on earth? She inquired. Daniel, Daniel Burroughs was my name. The words came to him as if the person he had mentioned was somehow one he once knew from another lifetime. A new unseen side of the man emerged and he recalled his job, where he lived, how he had the accident that turned his life upside down. Kiani listened and was drawn in by his every word. She felt sympathy but kept thinking of what Matthew had said moments ago. He is only a machine. Um, and so it goes on. I'm not going to read it all out. Um, I'll leave the link below if you want to download it for a dollar, I think it is. Or it's three dollars from Scribed. Um, and so I'll just read out the poem. So this is the bit that really... Um, he, he uses a bit of seduction here. Um, and he's the one that is captured, but through his seduction, he, he, he manages to, to, to capture Kiani. Let's just read what happens. And basically, he's appealing to her emotional side. Um, I have written one especially for you, Kiani. If you permit me, I could recite it for you now. It better be good, she joked, but she was intrigued. 
Of course she smiled contentedly, but as he went on, she saw something deep inside him that came out and drew her into the words that had underlying sorrow in each one of them and a pain that was even deeper. Tron set the poem to read in his mind and disconnected his electric voice box so that he sounded more human. "'Twas you who sent me into space from a dream. Once I caught a glimpse of what was real, I stopped. Then from the warmth of your smile you made me cry. You made me realize that what I am now, I could never be free. If only once and only once I touched your beauty. The cry of a wolf in the darkest night that sends me spinning. Looking at my sorrow in a reflection, I know then that it will be complete too. Her pity for him was filling her heart and it made her get up and move towards him. Split the tiniest atom and you won't find me there, for in you only my dreams can be real, but my sorrow it lives on with me forever, like the last grain of sand I am empty, empty from your touch, empty from your smile, empty from your love. Kiani was only inches from him now and she looked into his good eye to find what was left, left of his soul from another age and culture. I see your face shining like the sun and my eyes are scorched. If only I could love again, safe in your arms from the coldness outside. I will know you again by a feeling and dance and rejoice in the night. At that moment she felt so much compassion for him that she wanted to let the shields down and comfort him. She saw tears coming from his dark lifeless eye and wanted to wipe them away and tell him it would be all right. He stood before her and didn't move. His hand reached out to touch her face and a smile appeared on his misery born face. His other hand grabbed Kiani tightly as she realized what she had done. It's Kiani, she's let the shields down, someone yelled. His smile disappeared as quickly as it came and he held up an arm threateningly to Kiani's head. No one moves, speak or think about calling your captain. And so he uh, captures um, his audience, literally. <laughs> well, hope you enjoyed this video. May the Lord bless you. Remember, don't be beguiled. Um, submit to the Lord Jesus Christ. All your soul belongs to him. That includes your emotion, your mental state, um, your physical state. All of you belongs to the Lord. Give it to the Lord and um, he, shall, he shall bless you and sustain you. Amen. Oh,